There are many great film essay channels on YouTube that focus on a range of cinematic disciplines. What I want to do with this channel is talk about the relationship between film and psychology, the two subjects of which I study at university. The French New Wave director Jean-Luc Godard said this, Art attracts us only by what it reveals of our most secret self. Cinema is insightful. We can learn about ourselves from studying it. Therefore, it only seems logical that we pair it with the scientific discipline of studying the human mind and behaviour. The psychological theory I wish to talk about today was conceived by the psychoanalysist Jacques Lassan. He proposed the concept of a mirror stage in human development. The mirror stage is the moment in which an infant first recognises their own reflection in a mirror, and in that moment develops a sense of self-identity. The reflection becomes internalised as the ego. To Lassan, this stage occurred at six months of age as the child no longer recognises itself as separate body parts, but as a completed whole. This concern with our outward appearance lasts well into adulthood. Once we realise that our outer appearance has changed, the first thing we want to do is look at our reflection in a mirror. Our image is often depicted as a flawed representation of our true selves. Hassan concluded that we identify with our reflection, but are also alienated from it. The term narcissist is used to describe a person who has excessive interest in themselves and originates from a character in Greek mythology called Narcissus. Son of a river god, Narcissus was so obsessed with his own beauty that he fell in love with his own reflection. So how does this apply when viewing a film? Well, like looking into a mirror, cinema offers us the same reward of identification through looking. By gaze, we identify with the characters on screen, usually a male lead character, and they become our surrogates for the duration of the movie. Seeing a form of ourselves, visually reflected, gives us joy. These characters often feed our own ego, as they are in some way superior to ourselves, as is the case in the superhero genre. They satisfy our own narcissism. But our primary identification is with that of the camera. We see as it sees. Camera pans and tracking shots become our own movements. We stalk behind our heroes. Remember the transformation seen in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? The audience sees this from the character's point of view. Like the infant seeing itself as a unified being for the first time, the audience sees Mr. Hyde as a unified person for the first time in front of a mirror. Therefore, cinema is a new kind of mirror, or at least a new pair of eyes. We we'll offer an opportunity to look into the imaginary, to be present in experiences that we are physically withdrawn from. What we feel in these moments, and how we choose to react, is cinema's way of revealing our most secret self to us. The lens is turned on the viewer.